This is my spray paint, spray painting my CMO 2A AK-47, my old one. Always cover up the moving parts with painter's tape. Use only camo, only use camo, uh, camo colors like brown and silver, but get the actual thing that says camouflage. And what I've done so far, because the last video kind of failed on me, um, is what I've done is I've um, put I've put on a base coat of green, and I've laid down my pine. And what I use is my painter's gun, which works as clipping in to the circle like that. And you've got a painter's gun that works like this. That works like this. So this is the brown as the second coat after you put down the pine. So here it goes. The brown's going over. And it's making the silhouettes of the pine. And to help put the coat on evenly, you want to be shaking the whole time. So there goes the brown. And that looks extremely shiny from the camera's point of view. That goes on, once it dries, that thing is flat, like completely flat. And what you need to do now is you need to put on your leaves, which are spread out. Never group anything together. Always want to have everything spread out, nice and even. Because uh, this is a tiny body, I'm not going to have too many leaves on it, because it's a tiny body. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with another base coat of green. So, find my green right over here. I'll check my screen. Put my painter's gun back on. Okay. Now I go back over it. The coat of green. And then got that right there. And then what I do is don't take the pine or the or the um or the leaves off at any point while you're spray painting. And then now I'm going to use not that. Now I'm going to use my camo brown, which is located here. And the camo brown almost goes on like a black. Almost. Don't take my word for it. Um, and then what I do is I do stripes just to mix everything in. So just simple stripes going. Try not to group your stripes. Put your stripes nice and evenly down the gun. Kind of like what I've done there. Nice and evenly down the gun. And then now, you might want to go over it with your tan camo. And the way that that's going to work. And this is going to be a lot less striped. Never put too much of this on. So it's going to go. I just did four lines there. That's it. And then what I do now is I put the green back in. Yep. The green back in with a few easy lines. Now you want to put more green than any other color right now. You want to leave only little lines of the tan. So like I'm doing, I'm narrowing down the lines of tan. So it's almost like a little faded tan, like the colors have faded in. And now I'm going 
to remove the leaves and pine. Pine comes off. That comes off. That comes off. That comes off. what you end up with is this nice looking color that it has all of the colors landed in. The good thing about this paint also, it dries super duper fast. So, and you've got, I'm going to get paint on me, but you've got the shadow of the pine right there. You've got the leaves just going down the gun. You've got all of those nice textures. Now I'm going to go back. All those nice textures just blended into the gun. And it causes a really nice effect. So that is that to the end of that uh, spray painting video. Uh, that's all I've got to say about that. Um, this is CG Sniper 62 for all your YouTube videos, people, watchers, um, just, and this is a little residue on my hand after I touch that, um, and just, what I say, uh, just subscribe, comment, all, all those hateful comments, I, I know all those people are just like, I'm gonna remove those comments if you leave those. But just, it doesn't really matter. Nobody really cares if you just scream out, oh, this sucks. Nobody cares at all. So just please uh, subscribe or leave a comment. Um, and I'm going to make a couple game videos in about uh, three weeks. So, yep, uh, more like a month. Um, so CT Sniper, signing off. Bye.